Hello, so just a quick hardware tour. We're not going to look at the software here. We're just going to look at some of the key features of the uh, Galaxy Nexus um, from the hardware perspective. So on the front, we've got this 4.65 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1280 by 720. It has fortified glass, not Gorilla glass on here. So it will be scratch resistant and uh, take impacts a little bit better than uh, a lot of screens, but it's not corning Gorilla Glass, um, as some people uh, are led to believe. We've got the speaker up on the top here. We've then got the front-facing video camera. Should just be able to make that there. And we've got a couple of sensors here, which are a bit tricky to see uh, for, for light and proximity and what have you. So there's no physical buttons here. So this is all glass. The buttons are actually based in the software, um, so not even the touch sensitive ones. So it's lovely and flash right on the front here. On the bottom we've got a micro USB charging port or a port for uh, connecting to a computer to transfer data. We've got a microphone, we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the side we've got these little connectors here, that's going to be for the accessories like the docks and everything to actually activate it. To do something when it sits in the dock. We've got the power button up on the top here. Um, some people don't like this uh, position for the power, some people like it on the top, but you can argue when it's in the hand it's a natural place to uh, power on the device. On the top it's completely flush. On the other side we've then got the volume rocker and here you can actually see a bit of the curvature of the hardware itself. So flipping over to the back, we've got this uh, loudspeaker down at the bottom here. Now this is just uh, flush material here, there's no texture, but here we've got this sort of raised texture as we've seen on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, so it gives it quite a nice grippy feel to it. We've got the Samsung logo, we've got the Google uh, branding here as well, and then we've got the five megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash, this records in 1080p and takes some pretty good um, footage considering the resolution of the camera. So of course we've got Google Android version 4 um, on here, so ice cream sandwich with all the new features and you can see how already that's very different but we look at the software in another video. You've got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor uh, there is no micro SD card slot here, it's got 16 gig internal memory and in some countries there's a 32 gigabyte option. Internally we've got a standard SIM card slot, not a micro SIM as been seen on some devices now. Um, we also have a 1750 milliamp hour battery, that's all that's inside. This has a quad band GSM GPRS and pentaband 3G. HSPA, so that's 850, 900, 1700, 1900 and 2100 megahertz frequencies, Bluetooth 3, Wi-Fi, you've got 3.5 millimeter jack and what have you, all the Google uh, Maps services. Um, so that's pretty much it, that's a quick hardware tour of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus.